Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. So this morning I have decided that I'm going to go on a yard selling adventure. So yeah, I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. So I have not been to a yard sale in probably, it's been well over a year back when I was selling on eBay. I would go yard selling for hard goods. I did not sell uh, fashion items, clothing, shoes, nothing like that. So I have decided I will take $40 today and this is going to be a two part video. So 40 bucks and I'm going to see how much I can get with $40 and I want to try to flip that to $500. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, it could happen, but no, I'm not being serious, but I want to try to flip that. Um, and I just want to see how much I'm able to sell the items for and how much I'm able to turn that 40 bucks into. So what I'm going to do is this video will be basically me talking to you, um, driving around to yard sales. Now I am not a vlogger and I refuse to carry my camera around talking to myself on other people's property because I'm in South Carolina and people around here are weird and they might think I'm crazy and they might pull a gun on me and I'm not down for that. We are in the country, <laughs> but anyway, um, no, I just don't feel comfortable carrying around my camera, so I'm not going to do that, but I will interact with my phone in between yard sales. Um, and at the end of this video, I will be doing a haul video showing you everything that I got and letting you know what I think that I will be able to flip it for. And then we'll see. On part two's video, I will basically be going over everything that sold and seeing how much we were able to turn that 40 bucks into. So, with that being said, it is 5.30 a.m. I am awake, wide awake. Um, I've been up since midnight, so if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that I went to bed at like 6.30 last night because I had a horrible headache and I woke up at midnight, so I slept like six hours, woke up at midnight, and I was wide awake with a headache still. Um, but now it's gone and I feel good and I'm waiting for Starbucks. I need Starbucks. So that'll be our first stop. Then I need to go to the ATM and then we will start yard selling. Now, I have not done out my path yet. I don't know where I'm going to go. I do use an app called Yard Sale Treasure Map, which I will maybe insert into this video somewhere showing you what it is. Um, maybe not, I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to go on the wealthier side of town, um, but I don't think it's going to really make much of a difference because I live here in South Carolina and I do live in one of the wealthiest cities in South Carolina, which is Lexington, but it's old money. So it's not like people are out splurging on Louboutins and, you know, all this really fancy stuff. Yes, they do have that, but I have noticed that it's more people who have no money are the ones, you know, who, who don't live like they have money are the ones with all of the really nice stuff. Um, go figure. So, but yeah, with a lot of the old money around here, they live pretty modestly and you can't really, you would never know that they have a ton of money. They don't drive fancy cars. They don't wear fancy fur coats. It's not like that. You know, it's just, they just have a lot of money, which is mainly their land and their homes. So, um, so I don't really know if it's any point in going on that side of town. But I might, just to see. You never know. There might be some really nice vintage stuff. So, um, but yeah. So, I will be right back.
Okay, so I found one. It's a church sale, and it's, it says it starts at six. So I'm gonna see. I'm first gonna go to your uh, to Starbucks, and hopefully, and I have to also have to go to the bank. So um, I guess we'll go from there. Hopefully, the um, church sale would will be going on and then there's one neighborhood sale here in my neighborhood that I'm gonna go to and then we're gonna head to Governor's Grant so here we go okay I'm back I am going to Starbucks and I am going to see if this church sale is actually starting at 6 like it said it is I don't know if it said 6 because that's when people are gonna start bringing stuff in or what but we will find out and I have my air conditioner on for whatever reason and it's cold so I need to turn my heat back on um I didn't spend any time last night in Poshmark like I said I went to bed at 6 30 last night I did not share I did wake up at midnight and I did share my closet at midnight um, but I didn't list anything yesterday yesterday was just a blah day so I'm going to consider yesterday my day off oh wow there's a lot going on in interstate today um also, if you are selling on Poshmark as a business, be sure to do your mileage. Um, I have been using an app, which I will put in the description below. It is called Expensify. Oh, excuse me. It's called Mile IQ, not Expensify. I use Expensify for my receipts, which I'll put that in the description below. I just take pictures of my receipts whenever I go places and it records it for me and I can email a report to myself for my records. Um, the Mile IQ, basically you don't have to do anything. It just records while you're driving and then at the end of the day you can go in and you can swipe left or swipe right for personal or business. It's very easy to use. I love it. I don't remember who referred me to it, but thank you. It's been a lifesaver. <sighs> so here we are at the Starbucks. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Alrighty. My cup full of yummy nuts. Yeah, I just throw my trash on the floor because I clean it up later. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go to the bank, get my money out. Oh, so good. So, for those of you who are looking for a drink at Starbucks, I highly recommend the white chocolate mocha, the iced. It's so good. Everybody who's tasted it around me, they're like, ew. But it's good. I mean, it has that coffee flavor to it, but also has that mocha flavor. And then the whipped cream just makes everything so much better. And I don't know what this is on my steering wheel, but it's gross. So I'm definitely going to have to do some cleaning. <laughs> okay, so my first stop is this church up here. It's not in... It's got a one-star rating. Like, who gives a church a one-star rating? It's kind of disturbing to me. It makes me wonder why. Huh. I guess we'll find out. So, stop number one. Bust. They, they didn't have much of oh, Carolyn Taylor, stuff like that. Um, I got a Lane Bryant top, which was cute. Um, and I got my daughter three things because I did have some little girl's clothing. And she needs some summer, spring, summer clothes. So now, it is 6.45. I was able to waste 45 minutes. Now I'm going to go to the McMansions and see what kind of cell they have.
so I'm lost. I'm lost in this big ass neighborhood and I don't know where I'm at. I stopped at a couple. I didn't, they didn't really have much. It's a lot of baby clothes, like a lot of baby clothes. And none of the good stuff like Matilda Jane and stuff like that. So I'm trying to figure out how to get out of the neighborhood. I'll be back. Okay, so yeah, I got two things. Um, a pair of Nikes and a beige white t-shirt. Nothing extravagant. I'm going to this church rummage sale that I saw whenever I got lost earlier because I'm not, I mean, I'm from this area, but I'm not from this area. So I'm like, when I think I know where I'm going, apparently I did not know where I was going because I went to the really big neighborhood. It's a gated community and you had to have a code to get in. I was like, okay, well, this is obviously not the right place to go. So then I went back to my directions and I was like, oh, I went too far. But on my way there, I did find a massive church rummage sale. So I am going to head there now and see what I can find. I prefer the church rummage sales because everything's so cheap and hopefully I'll get there before everybody else gets there and gets all the good stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, that was... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You won't believe what I got. You have to wait. <laughs> But, um, yeah, oh my god, I can't even, I, anyway, okay, so I have got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars left to spend, I'm in shock, I am in shock, I am in shock, oh my god, alright, so, on to the next place, now I did see an estate sale, but I feel like it's probably more furniture, I might stop, I don't know, Estate sales kind of creep me out a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to start heading back towards my house to see what else I can find. I am leaving my house and um, heading to the last stop, which is a church sale. I, I seem to have the best luck at church rummage sales. So this one ends at 11 o'clock. And if you know, with a lot of those places, they drop their prices and they're like just trying to get everything out because they don't really feel like taking it all now so that's where I'm going I went and ate breakfast with my boyfriend um, but yeah that first sale that I went to seemed to be um, the jackpot <laughs> I am shook if I can even use that word but I am I'm like yeah it was amazing I have never found that stuff in the wild well anyway I'll talk about it later. <laughs> Alright, so now I am on my way across town. It's going to be 20 minutes. I'll get there at 1030, so I'll have 30 minutes to look around. Hopefully, not everything will be gone. Um, but yeah, so I can't really drive and talk and all that, so I'm going to stop talking now. Bye. Okay, I am back home. I'm going to go through, show you everything I got. Now, let's just do a little recap. So I have $40 that I went to spend at yard sales only, which I did that through yard sales and um, rummage sales at the churches. I also went and took another 20 out for myself to go to the thrift stores that were in that area. Um, so that's technically not included in this, you know, I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I got, but um, that'll probably be in another video. So all I'm gonna show you today is just what I got with the $40. So. I hope my lighting's okay. I have natural light in this window and then I have this other light right here because it, I don't know. All right, so, <sighs> I'm exhausted. I am going to sleep like a baby tonight. All right, so the first thing I got were these Adidas Terex. I hope these are real Adidas. I think they're real Adidas. Yeah, I think so. But anyway, they're just these. Um, Adidas. They wanted five dollars, but I paid two for these, so. Um, but yeah, they're in pretty good shape. I hope they're real. That's all I can say, because I know there's a lot of, you know, fake ones out there. Um, 
I found these. I paid two dollars. You know what that is? Tory Burch. Miss Tory Burch. Paid two dollars for these. These are actually my size, so I might keep them. Um, they are flip flops, but they're like a wedge. So um, I looked at comps, and comps are about between thirty and fifty-five dollars for these. Um, so I don't know. We'll we'll see. Um, but they are a size 10 and I wear a size 10 so I might just keep these for me um, I did notice on the bottom of one it needs to be glued um, so I'd have to fix that and there's a little bit of wear on the backs on the back ends not anything terrible um, but yeah I'm definitely gonna have to fix that one but I thought they were cute um, I also pay like 25 cents for this Bowden top just Bowden. Um, I don't even know. I'm sure I, I can sell it for like a couple bucks. These are Nike Flex Experience. I don't know. I guess these are like the cheaper Nikes that you can get from like Shoe Show or something. But yeah, they're just these navy blue and I guess it's a pink. It looks lavender, but a navy blue and pink Nike. Alright, so this is I think it's a vintage bag um, I don't know now this says Lang I don't know if that is the brand L-A-N-G I'll have to look it up but I only grabbed it because I knew it was leather and it's like a hobo bag it does need to be cleaned a little bit but it's this pretty hobo bag and the reason I know it's vintage well, I can't say that a hundred percent but the majority of vintage bags look like this on the inside. If you can tell, it's got like a ribbed material. Um, it's very uncommon to have that on newer pocketbooks now. So it, it, it smells vintage. It smells like my grandma's storage shed. <laughs> or what it used to smell like. Um, but yeah, so these zippers say YKK. And then the zipper on the inside says L-A-N-G. So, I don't know, but maybe it's a Lang. I don't know. But, I paid a dollar for this. Um, I'm going to have to throw this in the wash. It is a fossil. It's just like canvas. Um, the canvas ones, I don't know how well they do. I typically don't ever find canvas fossil bags. Usually, I find leather. Um, oh, I got a free pen. But I will show you this it's fossil and I thought it was kind of cute for spring it was a dollar so I I hate getting coach um, especially the vintage ones um, it, they were asking 10 but I ended up paying a dollar for it because I came in right when they were closing um, but yeah so this is a coach it's a hobo bag um, it's basically I don't know. I partly want to keep it for myself, but I know I can't. Um, there was multiple bags like this. It was a white bag. <coughs> I think a gray bag. Um, but they were extremely dirty. This one was pretty clean. I know it needs to be polished up a little bit, which would be okay. Um, but it is definitely vintage coach. Um, the only thing with this one compared to the other vintage coach bags that I've gotten is it doesn't say it was made in the United States. So I don't know what era this is from. Um, so yeah, um, obviously I'll have to do a little bit of research. But it's, I like it. I think it's really cute. And then last on this side, just a Vera Bradley. Um, I paid 75 cents for this one. Um, just like a, what is this called? A quilted, but just a little Vera, um, cute little shoulder bag. It's in good shape. It's pretty clean. Um, you know, when you see Vera Bradley, you're used to seeing all those designs and stuff, and this one's just basic, so it was interesting to me. Okay, so. We will get into this bag. So the first item, now this is from the 
fancier side of town, I guess you'd say, they had the church sale that I found the amazing stuff at. All right, so this is the softest surroundings. Now, I don't know how this is going to do. I know soft surroundings seems to do pretty well. Um, I've sold some of their stuff for decent prices, so um, I paid... Let's see. I hope you can see that. Anyway, so I paid... Um, two dollars per item everything i'm about to show you i pay two dollars each for so it is this um like a denim top like a tunic top i guess or maybe it's just yeah it's a tunic top um really cute p next and they let me keep the hangers too which is nice so this is a an ivanka trump and it's just a dress now, on Poshmark, I have somebody who messages me every single time I post anything that is by Ivanka Trump. She always asks, do you have a size large? <laughs> and I'm like, no, usually it's a size small. This is a size 10, which could technically be considered a size large. Um, but yeah, it's just this pretty floral dress. Um, it's like, it feels like that scuba material. Yeah, so size 10 Ivanka Trump dress like a sheath dress. Pretty pretty. Alright, this is another soft surroundings. These are size large. Both of these are size large. Let me see if I see any stains because I sure didn't see any in the church lights. But anyway, so it's just this cute white top. I don't know why, but it reminds me of like a baby's burp cloth. <laughs> you know those white you know, baby diapers, um, the ones that you would like pin on the baby. That's what it looks like. It's got that, it just reminds me of that. But anyway, so it's just this pretty white material. I'm not sure what this is. It is cotton. It's nice cotton though. So yeah, beautiful. Um, oh man, I think I see a problem. It looks like it's faded. Then again, I don't know. Well, anyway. So this is St. John Sport. Um, I think it is faded. I did not notice that. But if you see this right here, it looks a little faded, huh, guys? Oh, and there was a hole anyway. So some moths already got it. So this was a waste of money. But, um... Oh, and it's funny, too, because I'm looking here. Apparently they didn't. They missed that. They were asking twenty bucks for that. I didn't pay twenty bucks for this, so um, I guess I got lucky because <laughs> that would have sucked if I would have paid twenty bucks for that and found those two things. So you see, we all we all make mistakes. Um, it just happens. But it is okay. All right. So this next item is a lucky brand. And it's a extra small, 100% cotton. It's just this cute little cardigan. It's got like the belt with it. Kind of, I don't know, the sleeves look a little, a little flared. Yeah, I thought it was cute. It's kind of a thicker material, kind of like a sweatshirt material. All right, this is Lily Pulitzer. Um, I've actually sold shirts like this for, I think I probably got like 25 bucks out of them. But this one is Lily Pulitzer. It's the gold label. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, cute little top. Smells good. So, I love this skirt right here. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and the fact that it's soft surroundings makes it even better. So this is another soft surroundings. And it is this beautiful skirt. What size is this? It's a medium. But look at these colors. Is this not gorgeous? It's such a pretty maxi skirt. I love it. I wish it would fit around my big old behind. But it won't. Not anytime soon. But yeah, it's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to try to get that up soon. Alright. 
And then this is a Prana. It's an actual set. So it's the top and the bottoms. The leggings. So I thought that was kind of cute that it was a set. Um, it's weird because it doesn't feel... Uh, well, I guess it kind of does. Anyway, so this is extra large. I was like, well, I can either try to sell it or I can keep it for myself because I can wear an extra large. So, But it's just this top. It's got like the lace on the arms. And... Um, I'll try to take it out. So here's the top. And then the bottoms are right here. And they are extra large as well. But yeah, just a set. And then my favorite find of the entire day. Um, I always go straight to the shoes. And I'm so glad I did because as soon as I got there, these were there. We're all these. This is the first pair I've ever found. I didn't even think people on this state had these because I just figured they were something that were very common out west. Um, they're my size too, which makes it even worse. Because I'm like, do I want to sell them or do I want to keep them? They are in excellent condition. I don't think they've ever been worn. I mean, look at that. So, like, I mean, excellent condition. Seriously, I think somebody just bought them and they, they never did anything with them. But yeah, so this made everything worth it because this just gave me back my 40 bucks plus, you know, a $50 profit on top of that. So that's pretty awesome. Um, you know, it's a good color too. It's that, that mustard yellow. So yeah, I'm excited. So let's see, was that everything? Doo -doo -doo. All right, so that was everything I got for 40 bucks. So everything I just showed you is what I got for 40 bucks. Today, like I said, these Rothies are definitely going to give me my money back plus at least an extra 50 because um, they will sell for, you know, 90 to $120. It just depends. Um, these are size 10s and they're wides. So that makes a huge difference because that's a size that people are usually after. I mean, <laughs> they do fit me. But I'm not, I don't know. I don't really care for them. I don't, they're not anything special to me. Like, I've never put them on my feet. And I'm afraid to put them on my feet because then I might not want to take them off. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to refrain from even trying them on. All right. So, I'm going to do two videos. Next video is going to be the thrift haul. Um, just some stuff that I got. And, yeah, that'll be that. Um, but, okay. So, this was part one. And part two will be coming up once these items start selling. I'm going to go ahead and photograph lists and all that good stuff. Um, and I guess look forward to the next video, hopefully, in the next one to two weeks. Um, I think that I'll be able to sell these things pretty quickly. Um, but if not, you know, I can just do random updates, whatever. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give me a like. Um, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon because that will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And I think that is it for the day. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.